A Short Walk in God's Word, Segment 2 God declares in Psalm 111, verse 2, The works of Jehovah are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. The works of God are unsearchable and marvelous without number, so that all the world itself could not contain the books that might be written about them. But God, in His mercy, has given to us a record of some of His great works. That record, of course, is the Bible, which tells us that in 11,013 B.C., the creation was framed by the spoken word of God, that in God's own image He made man male and female, that because of man's disobedience, mankind became spiritually dead and was driven to destruction as the sparks fly upward, that God, in His great mercy for His own good pleasure, commanded salvation and life eternal for those chosen in Christ Jesus before the world began, that in 7 B.C. the Word became flesh, and in 33 A.D., yielded up the ghost on Calvary's cross in demonstration of things most wonderful and horrible, that on May 21, 2011, the Lord Jesus Christ returned and began spiritual judgment day, removing any hope of salvation from the unsaved, thereby, in effect, killing them and gathering the redeemed of the Lord into the secret chambers of the Most High until His indignation be overpassed. All these works are unsearchable by natural man who's utterly corrupt in his sinful and rebellious mind, void of all spiritual truth and understanding. But for the redeemed of the Lord, who live and walk and are led by the Spirit of God, these great works of Jehovah are sought out and taken pleasure in. The words of Him who alone does great wonders is our only refuge and fortress during these days of Judgment Day, while we wait for that great day of the consummation, which looks more and more like October 7th, 2015.